Um, I like Destiny. He's a good person. I have a mass amount of respect for him. Anyone that can come into contrarian spaces and have debates and uh, articulate himself, even though we don't necessarily always agree on everything, I have a mass amount of respect for him. He's a good guy. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about him. Um, th- th- this whole situation with uh, with his wife, you know, for everyone out there that's like, you know, rejoicing and laughing and saying, yeah, ha, 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 blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, that that's some shitty behavior, bro. Like, at the end of the day. I think, if anything, look at the situation for what it is. Learn from it. Obviously, I, I hope, you know, whatever is going on between him and, him and his wife, you know, gets sorted out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is something that I've kind of mentioned before already. Uh, I've told Destiny this before, uh, that I don't think open relationships ever work whenever a woman is open as well. I don't, it only works when the man is open, but never when the woman's open. And it comes back to what we were discussing earlier, you know, and I've been saying this for years. A woman can't serve two masters. She really can't. Right. And whenever you open the door for her to, you know, exercise options or explore other men, at some point... You're opening the door for her to attach to someone else that might be able to have traits that you might not necessarily have. Whereas as a man, we don't operate like that. Right. We, we're like, your girl is your girl for a reason, right. you know? So um, with that said, you know, obviously I hope Destiny's okay. I hope nothing, you know, bad is going on. I hope, you know, yeah. him and his wife are able to reconcile this to some degree where it doesn't damage him from a financial perspective as much, especially since he invested a good amount of money into her with platforming her. Obviously he's very successful financially smart guy she's been able to build off her own little platform off of him so i hope that he smart doesn't as well yeah i hope he doesn't get uh you know financially torched for it um but yeah i mean it's it, it just sad what's going on here between her it's just like the dude it, if you give him an inch he'll take a mile right and it's like i looked at this and i was like man like this chick man like she's on some bullshit blah 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 yeah and this happened uh, so Destiny isn't a bad person, 100%. Really cool guy. I just think he made a choice where, you know, it was going to benefit him in, in the long term. And uh, as men, we make choices, you know. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a perfect choice. Maybe it was a bad choice. But ultimately. Yeah. Um, I just hope nothing happens to him financially. Yeah. You know, he could recover think, from yeah. it. Think about this, though. If if women like security, right? Women like security. Boundaries. Women, do they talk this shit on Facebook and all this, uh, Instagram. But women love boundaries. Like, it makes them feel secure. Just think about if you got a woman, right, and she look at you and she say, oh, he'll let me do whatever. Like, he, they think you don't care about them when you let them rip and run and, and run wild like that. It's and true. so mm-hmm. when when you... That's a good point, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, they, really... they, they need the security. And boundaries is a good way. Like, there's no... I ain't never really met no woman who was into me that bucked back at boundaries. Yeah. That's only when women using you as a placeholder and shit like that, and they don't really like you. Then they'd be like, "Oh, you controlling this shit." But when a woman like you, she like to to feel secure in those in those boundaries. And women, when women like you, they'll play within those boundaries. But if you let them run wild, they gonna run wild, and they are gonna think you don't care about them. Yeah. yeah. And if a woman think you don't care about her, if she think that you don't care about her, you're not gonna get her all. She's not gonna put her all into you. Can I can I mention as well? Uh, I don't know what it is, but whenever a girl's like not from the U.S. and wants to come to America, I just find a hard time believing that it's actually genuine. And like, uh, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know her that well. You know, we taught her a couple times on different shows. But like, bro, when you have a green card, bro, she's seeing money green as well. So you never know. Oh, she's not from here. Nah, she's nah. not from here. So I will give it that she's from a first. I forget what country it is. Someone in the chat's gonna put it. It's a first world Western country. Yeah, that's like super liberal. But but so. again, you see a guy living in the U.S. that you can kind of like you know talk to and you know ch- chip down a little bit and make your own angle at him, you're going to go for it and then see where it goes. And I think that's what happened here. So yeah. I, They got to stop falling for this, oh, let's be open shit. Because women yeah. don't respect you if they fucking somebody else. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They got to stop falling for that. That shit crazy. Yeah. And, and I think as someone, Sweden, yeah, Sweden, Sweden is where it's from. Mm. And I think, you know, for all the guys out there, you know, that, that to, to learn from this situation, if you got some money, you got some status, et cetera, like you're the boss, man. Like put these women <laughs> in their place. Like don't let them sit there and say, I want to be open and you actually like, no, because... Whenever you have a, a, a title, you have an image to protect, you got a, a st- some status, you got some money, etc. like, you got something to lose. And when women run around and do dumb shit, like, you can really deal with some serious negative consequences for that. It's not a good it look for you. fuck up your whole bag. Yeah. yeah. We spoke earlier, and women can only do what you allow them to do to you. So, yeah. as, uh, for example, let's say you're a man of means, and yeah. you have status and success in your frame, you have boundaries that she's going to follow. Mm-hmm. Versus the opposite... You have money status, but no frame. Yeah, she'll do whatever. Yeah, but you gotta protect you that allow shit. It, though. Yeah. So, like, I would say, like, for all the guys out there, man, you you guys are successful. You making some money, etc. Like, you gotta be even more clamped down on her not doing some bullshit. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've always said, like, 
Like having money and status, like and this is a perfect example of that. Like having money and status isn't gonna get girls to be on your program if you don't got frame. Like you gotta yeah, have you frame gotta too. Have, yeah, you gotta have that. That's like huge. the money and status will just let her tolerate you a little bit longer, but mm-hmm. it's not necessarily gonna get her in line. You gotta you gotta have that in your head, and then you're able to implement it. The money and status helps you with letting her know that you ain't gonna get this again, dummy. <laughs> but you, the, at the end of the day, you still have to have the frame, whether you make 50k a year or 500k a year, or 5 million a year. You still have to have that frame regardless. So we spoke earlier as well, and you mentioned back in the day, you didn't need, need as much to get women because it was less access. Yeah, you know, let's, let's talk point. about that real quick, Dre. Yeah, point, um, Dre. You know, you're a little bit older, right? Mm-hmm. We get some wisdom from you. Yeah. Um, you were, you know, picking up girls before this crazy social right. media, right. you know, before online Instagram, dating era Facebook, age. Facebook, you blah, had to blah, go blah. out and talk to women. Yeah, what was it like back then, man? Um, It was easier, but it was... Let me put it like this. Nowadays, if you, like I said earlier, if you can get yourself up to barely passing, you can get laid easy because they throwing pussy away like nobody's business. They don't care about being called no whore. They call themselves hoes. They don't care. They throwing <laughs> pussy away like hoes. nothing. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's changed in that sense. So if, if, if you can get yourself, if you can get yourself to a certain point, it's easier. However, women are a lot less tolerable to mistakes and bullshit. Yeah. Prime example, I get a lot of guys who, They'll go on a first date with a woman. Now, women women come hot and ready nowadays. Hmm. And so they'll go on a first date with a woman, and the guy don't close, right? The guy don't close. So the spark may be there. The chemistry may be there. You know, this chick done spent five hours getting ready, putting on makeup, shaving and shit, and matching bra and panties. Think about it. Every time you had sex with a girl for the first time, the bra and panties match, right? Typically. It's not a coincidence. (laughs) So they take time to do this shit. So when they do this shit, come on a date, they like you, the vibe is good, and you don't close, they take it as rejection. Yeah. Now, back in the day, she would have chased you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She would have chased you and called you. Nowadays, it's 50 other dudes. Yeah. I'm going to just find somebody who can handle my business. So they're not as as tolerable to a lot of the mistakes guys are making. To add to your point, then, just to add to your point as well, whenever you leave that date without closing, makes a phone call, hits somebody else, and then he smashes. And then he smashes. Because yep. it's always somebody else. So you yep. don't do it. Mm-hmm. They're going to call King Dre or call Fresh. Fresh mm-hmm. going to come pick him up in the Lamborghini and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you know yes, sir. Yeah. It's over with. So I'm not saying that, you know, be a pussy hound or nothing like that. But that's just some of the differences back in the days. Yeah. Also, like, back then, like, you had to, like, almost lie. I don't say lie, but you had to kind of, like, Women wanted you to be like boyfriend and shit. Mm, so we yeah. had like five girlfriends. You had to and really shit. sell like the dream. The, the rotation shit was like you had to do that. If you wanted to be fucking with different chicks and shit, and this chick and this, you had to like date them and be their boy. Not you don't really have to go on dates, but like yeah, you had to give you boyfriend had to, energy. You had, to, you had to give boyfriend energy back we, then. We could blame all those R and B songs. Another thing too is like <laughs> they didn't back then. They didn't really require dates like that. Like, I didn't go on my first date until I was, like, 25. Like, where I went and paid oh, for a date, I was, like, 25 when I went on my first date. And we yeah. was smashing them way before then. Yeah. Like, a chick would be cool with you pulling up with some hot wings and sitting in the car <laughs> on lunch break for 30 minutes and just chopping it up. Some Hennessy. Yeah. You know, some, some whatever they do, you know. But nowadays with social media, this whole women, you know, they hive-minded, so they want what everybody else got. Oh, well, they ain't going to Cheese Factory. They ain't selling for Cheesecake Factory. I'm not selling oh, for it. It's, yeah. shit, it's shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you're so right. Now, they, 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 it's just a lot of bullshit now, but mm-hmm. it, it was a lot easier back then yeah. as far as, like, dealing with women. But it, to get laid, it's easy to get laid now. I think yeah. nowadays, just to get laid. with the advent of social media, Instagram, also as well, TikTok, there's so much out there, for example, of what can be done for them. The grass is green on, on the other side. So they see that and say, yo, I can get this too as well. Give me that as well. You know, Dre, I want to ask you this because this is something that I've noticed in, in ridiculous abundance, which actually really uh, worries me. And I want to see if you've kind of observed the same thing. Um, I've noticed a general increase with uh, content for the discontent for men, like just general lack of respect for men in general. Oh, yeah. Like in, in 2020, since, since the explosion of social media, I've just seen the respect for men go, go down. All the way down. Like, I remember girls would say, "Oh, he's an electrician. Okay, he's he does he's gonna do well." Now it's like if you have a blue collar job, women don't respect that shit no more. Right. If you got a factory job, oh, he's just a factory nigga. Like, they genuinely think that most men are losers, not that attractive. Most guys are invisible to them. Like, there's just this huge lack of respect for men, bro. You know where it, that come from? Whores. Right. <laughs> think about it. Right. 
when when you have a disdain for something, it's because you can't be successful with it. Like mm -hmm. you you taking L's. And typically when women take, it's easy for women to get sex. They just, that's when you hear chicks talk like that, they more than likely hoes. That's getting <laughs> fucked on and fucked on and fucked on and fucked on and fucked on. And so they develop this disdain. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Good point. So, it, it's funny because recently Ruby Rose posted a guy, which is her number one spender, spending on her, all the text messages. And back in the day, women would post, I'm getting married, I'm engaged. Now they're just posting all the simps that are giving yeah. them money. Yeah. So it changed from respect to men. Back in the day, it's getting married. It's embarrassing, yeah. man. It's embarrassing. It's, it's crazy. A, it's almost like a, um, like I said, it's like a disdain. Like when you mm -hmm. can't be successful. Now when a man can't be successful with, with, with women, mm -hmm. His success isn't because he can't get laid to get a relationship. It's it's because I mean his success is his his disdain comes from him not being able to get laid yeah. or get a relationship. Yeah. A woman's ails come from them not being able to get into a, get a guy to like them past sex. Yeah. And so when you see women have that disdain, that's pretty much always all where it come from. You ain't never heard no virgin say that. You ain't never heard no woman who's been treated well by her father Facts. or by Facts. you know her man ever say no shit like that. In fact, you see. You, there's another side of social media where women be saying, look, I I need my man. I don't know what the yeah. fuck y'all talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look in the background, you got a, a solid man that's taking care of her. Whenever you see a bitch say some, a woman say something like that, she yeah. a rant. It's just, it, it's just wild because it's it's like there's no, there's like disregard, like there's no, they don't even give a shit about like looking crazy or whatever. Like they'll just get on TikTok yeah. and talk about how Oh, this guy ghosted me. Fuck men, or the, just like the 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 vitriol and the hate. Like women are just open misandrous, and yeah. nobody bats an eye, bro. It's yeah. completely and socially acceptable to shit on men, not respect men, insult men, and no one says shit. So there's an algo boost on TikTok where if you post hateful men topics, it boosts you in the algorithm, which is crazy, by the way. But it's I, true. I, I don't, you know, I don't. I believe that. Yeah. yeah, I believe that because I tell you this, they, they get rid of niggas like us. Like if we talk, like Instant. fight back against the bullshit. Like yo, oh, like you know, fight back against this bullshit. Like yo, these are the women that you want to stay away from. You know, I you identified these three or fours, etc. Misogyny, boom. Like there's a whole um like TikTok has like a blacklist. They made misogyny a big one now, where like you get banned immediately. Yeah. Uh, but I don't see anything in there about Miss Andrew. You write through the terms and yeah, guidelines. Yeah, Was there yeah, anything see, about Miss Andrew? Nah, nah. You could say whatever you want to say about a man. I it, it it got so bad to where like I don't even like in my title I don't put women I put like a, the emoji of a woman like I don't even smart oh shit yeah, smart I, I, I don't put like oh women do this I put like you know if emoji do this then it means this you see <laughs> what I'm saying it's bad like that yeah it's it's starting to get like crazy bro so. Um, See, that's smart. He's playing the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you gotta got play to. You in their house, you gotta play by yeah, their Yeah, yeah. TikTok, TikTok is the worst. Uh, yeah, I, I got some of these chats real fast. Uh, let's see here, because cool. I know y'all probably got a lot to say. Let's see. I get my glasses here. Y'all chat. Have... Here, y'all got the y'all chat. That's the crazy shit. Conqueror <laughs> says Roll Tomasi is on the Sit and Sinners channel discussing the end of the red pill and the beginning of Marquetism. Okay. Uh, Damien says, not long ago, you made fun of Tim Pool for his take on women. Well, Temple's always on time with his live shows, has three times the audience that you have, and more high-profile guests. How about you get your shit in order for real, all of you? L. L for all of you. What bro. does that have to do bro. with... What? <laughs> Tim Cast doesn't talk about what we talk about, bro. It's two different topics yeah, he's, on he's, he's actual a, live shows, Tim, bro. Tim is a news channel, bro. Yeah. Like, Tim is like a straight-up like like a news channel, dude. So it's like... What are you trying to compare? Of course people are going to want to watch that because it's a news channel. So and, you could bring in a wider audience. And also, our content pushes people away. Yeah. So it's not, it's not the same thing, bro. Like, what the Come hell? on, man. Sticker coming in here just to talk shit? Uh, Venom. <laughs> oh, man. Destiny about to dye his hair red after this. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what oh, you I did. Red. Oh, red like uh, He's fine, man. He's fine. Uh, what else Meat we got here? Meat homie says, I knew this day was going to come for Destiny. I wouldn't be surprised if now he becomes your super red pill. Uh, I wish no man any bad, and I actually feel bad for him. I have not tried to warn him. Keep doing what you, you do, boys. You haven't been wrong yet. Yeah, man. Yeah. And that's why I'm keeping it respectful because, like, he's a good guy. Like, yeah, I, you don't I, kick I, him while he's down. That's yeah, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna kick him while he's down. I mean, uh, you know, and, and meeting Molina, meeting him, like, I, 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 you like, can tell. I, I have an idea. Like, uh, you know, I kind of saw this coming. Like, I don't know, bro. I, I mean, I, dude, this, <laughs> this I always it, right? thought Molina was on some bullshit. I'm going to be a thousand with y'all. This like, is what I see, bro. We're all men here. We made mistakes. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah. However, we did warn him beforehand, and we're just seeing it in real time. 
But yeah. to be honest, bro, we made mistakes too, bro. Yeah. No one's here is perfect. And, and the thing is, man, like like women be on some like there, there's girls out there, man, that are like looking for a come up, bro. And she always gave me that vibe, like, yo, this chick is here for a come up, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's got a huge audience. Uh, he's well, he's well spoken, articulate, etc. Uh, you know, he's he um he's I guess his his Twitter name is Omni Liberal, right? He's somewhat liberal, right? So it's like for her, it's like, oh, this is perfect. You know what I mean? Do you think that she was out of his league? What do you think? In terms of, for example, looks wise and like, you know. No, uh, I think I think I think she was uh, he was out of her league. Yeah. Mm. I think she was punching up personally. Mm-hmm. You okay. know what I mean? Because, um, you know, obviously people will talk shit. Oh, well, Dustin doesn't go to the gym and he's not tall. And blah blah blah. But I mean, yo, status makes up for everything. I, I hate mm-hmm. to say it, but yeah. like I, I've always said it, me and you've had these discussions. Mm. If you had to pick one amplifier just to be attractive to women, it would be status, hundred percent. I, I thought these were getting niggas be damn near bisexual, yo, but they'd be getting thought, more bitches than all I of us. I thought that was bullshit until I blew up. I used to, when I came to the next level, <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the first time, 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 that status shit don't mean nothing until I started to like yeah. get that type of status. It's Yo, shit crazy, nother, right? It's a whole nother ball game. Yo, it's a whole nother ball bro, game. Bro, shit crazy. Yo, get, I, you, you know what I knew status was it? Yeah. When Bad Bunny basically came out and said, oh, I'm bisexual and he still gets bitches. That's what I knew. I was like, bro, you literally have like a death sentence when it comes to any regular nigga, right? Yeah. Right. But you're still pulling chicks and you're getting baddies too? That's what I knew. Yo, status is, is bro. It's the main thing when it comes to getting girls. I saw in real Getting them, not holding them, yeah, but yeah, just, yeah, getting just, them. Get, just, just getting them. Just, just getting them. Just getting them. I saw in real time. I'm outside at events, at clubs. The guys that got the tables, the guys that were in VIP, the guys that were up there on these elevated platforms, yeah. girls would be like, wow, who is that? Yeah. I need to be there. Bro. Bro. Like, damn, he's a nobody. But yeah. with status of looking like he's somebody on this platform, oh, let me go over there to, to fuck him. And it's crazy because nowadays, sorry, back in the day, it was only game. But yeah. only with status and game, you're a killer, bro. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, call me biased, but yeah, I, I genuinely think he was way out of her league. Mm. I think, he, like, like she's lucky that he even committed to her, in my opinion. Right. Like, I, like, if you don't, if you don't got the game part behind it, though, you just a sucker. Yeah, like yeah. you just yeah. a chick just gonna use. You got the money, mm. a chick gonna use you. Yeah. You got the status, she gonna use you. Yeah. Like, look, look at all these streamer guys, these these nerd yeah. streamer yeah. guys. Yeah, bro. It's like yeah. sad and sickening to see what's going on with them. They getting these bro. girlfriends and blowing them up and. And Dre, me, me and you are on the same page with that shit. Like me and you both hate because that's why you started your whole joint. Yeah. We hate seeing dudes get finessed by I women, ha- bro. I hate it. Like I hate it. So, like I just, I, it's, I mean, play on if you're gonna play, chick. Do your thing, but I don't like the after effect of it. Like I don't like the pain that it causes men. You know what I'm saying? Because that pain is widespread. Like we all have to deal with that pain as a society. That's the part I don't like about it. Yeah. I've always been like if you a duck then you know, especially if you if somebody tell you better and you don't listen, then get you know, get plucked like a duck. <laughs> but I just the pain that come with that and just seeing it is just like it sucks, it, bro. It's, it's it's almost like how like an older 40-year-old preying on a 15 a gullible 15-year-old chick. It's like the same thing to me. Mm. Here you just have this kid don't know any better. Got a whole lot of money. Got a whole lot of platform. And you bring your thought ass, and you know, just take advantage of him. Make him feel all these good things. Make him feel loved. Make yeah. him feel like he the only man. Are you taking I mean, for everything? We brought he got? Uh, we brought Neon here. So I'm talking. I about. remember. Uh, and and I don't know if you saw that, but like he's with that chick, uh, who's like some OnlyFans chick, and. <laughs> and it's funny because like a, a couple days before, Sneeko had put her on a lie detector on, are you here, with, are you with Neon for his clout only? And she was like, no, and the fucking thing says she was lying, which is obviously, Clearly. you know, the guy's, you know, 18-year-old, 19-year-old virgin, right? Skinny, et cetera. Still, you know, getting his, getting his, his shit together. This girl's like 20, 21, fucking, you know, OF model. She obviously has some sexual experience. She's been with dudes before. She's at her peak. You know what I mean? He's figuring out if he's at his peak. And it's like whenever I see a drastic um, difference in knowledge, not just sexual market value, but knowledge, knowledge. of their sexual market value, yeah. that's when girls take advantage. Whenever there's a disparity and she's more aware than you are, it's a wrap, man. And that's why I tell guys, yo, you got to get 50 lay count. Oh, what the fuck, nigga? What are you talking about? There's too many bodies, blah, blah. Bro, these girls will rack that shit up in, in a semester in college. You have to be but, experienced. But you, it's it's, it's mm. like how you going you know people do this religious shit but like how like how do you know how to deal with a woman like okay let's say you get this long-term marriage right you get this woman and y'all gonna be together forever 
if anybody's ever been in a long term relationship, it ain't it's not cakewalk. That's yeah. it's actually it's easy harder. to be out here playing the field, hard to juggling yeah. women. But to have one woman you committed to, it's a whole different ball game. Because yeah. what happened when she tell you, I don't feel like it tonight, and then that <laughs> happened for two weeks. What you gonna do yeah. about that? Yeah. Do you even know what to do about that? Do you know what to do when she starts? She get in a little phase where she bucking up at you and she talking a little slick to you. Yep. It's easy to say, oh, we're just going to leave her. But, you know, you 10 years in, you 7 years in, you invested. What you going to do about that? Yeah. So yeah. if you don't know how to navigate.